All right. Well, well, well. Hello there, my lovely subscribers. Hope y'all are doing well. Welcome back to the channel and to another live stream. At long last, I am covering the AMX 30B. So, uh, yeah, I've been promising I would play this tank ever since 10.3 dropped. Like, has it been a month already? Has it, has it already been about a month? Maybe over a month. I, I don't remember when the update dropped. It's been a while, uh, but... Today, we're finally going to get to it. The 30B is my personal favorite tier 10 medium tank right now. I think it has just the perfect mixture of everything that makes it both really strong and really fun to play. And that's a huge part about the 30B. But I will discuss that in just a moment. Before that, hello to everybody in chat. We have Zoom, uh, Shimek, we have Trav, Skip Dreadman, uh, <laughs> Thapa? I'm going to call you Thapa. I don't know how to pronounce your first name there. Sorry, dude. Uh, yes, uh, Curious, good to see you. Um, Nat Ig, uh, hello, 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 welcome, welcome, Russian Disaster, welcome, hope you guys are doing well and having a great end to your weekend, Lewis, great to see you here as always as well, uh, and carol 45 t who says, I love the B30XMA, but buddy has carol 45 t as his name, how could you, how could you betray the 30B like that? <laughs> Anyways, please do smash that like button, very sincerely appreciate the support, it does help the channel out a lot at uh, recommending streams to people and all that fun stuff. So, uh, yeah. All right. Let's hop to. I see a lot of people that like to compare the Leo and the 30B. And to be fair, that's not the worst comparison. Although, in my opinion, they do play pretty different. Uh, one of the main things that makes the 30B stand out from maybe the other DPM meds is it does have a decent armor profile. When using the 10 degrees of gun depression this tank gets, the upper plate becomes pretty much auto ricochet. The mantlet is pretty strong. It will bounce most standard rounds to go against you. The exceptions would be certain high pen uh, tank destroyer rounds or high pen premium rounds that can go through sections of the mantlet. But for the most part, you don't have to worry too much about the mantlet. The corners are pretty well angled. And kind of the only downside to this tank's armor profile would be the hatch, which is pretty big. Uh, but if you grew up in my days of World of Tanks Blitz, where we played an M48 Patton in a T-125 with giant old hatches on top, it's nothing to worry about. You'll get used to the playstyle pretty quickly. It does help that this tank is also extremely fast. I think, what, is it a 55 km an hour top speed or is it 60? Let me verify that. Oh, it's 62! Okay, it used to be 65, then we're giving it to 62. It's still really, really fast. Very mobile, has great traverse speed numbers. Obviously not quite as good as like a 140 or something because that tank's much more specialized in mobility. Uh, but mobility, usable armor, 10 degrees of gun depression, and of course, update 10.3 was very kind and gave this tank 3,560 damage per minute with rammer. So 350 alpha, 3,500 plus damage per minute. It also received accuracy buffs, so its gun just feels so much more reliable. It already had a really decent gun in terms of accuracy, and that was just fantastic. So you combine all of those traits into one package, and you have a tank that is quite versatile on the medium flank, can even haul down poke pretty somewhat reliably, uh, mo mobile, high DPM, high accuracy. It just has a lot going for it to make it quite enjoyable to play. LR, would, uh, would WZ-120 with 70 degrees of gun depression be too overpowered? Yes, it would be very overpowered. Very, very overpowered. Um, sorry, I don't think your stream notification went through. We'll see if, if that happens. It should go through. It might just be a slight delay on my uh, application side. Uh, but so yeah, 30B ran. Absolutely love this tank. As a matter of fact, I think, <laughs> was it two years ago last time I did a dedicated 30B stream? Back when I was good at this game and not bogged down in so much schoolwork. Um, oh, there's the donation. Uh, I used to be able to still reliably pull 4K sessions out in it before it received any buffs. So it's always been a good skill tank. That's how I would rate the 30B. It's really good. It can be one of the best tier 10 medium tanks, but you have to be able to play it well. This isn't an STB where you just pull up, go hold down, and farm people. Like You have to have some activated neurons to get this tank to work. And hopefully, wait, this is uprising. Whew, almost made a mistake. Hopefully I can demonstrate some of that to you guys. By the way, I quite literally have not, with the exception of a few uprising battles, uh, played Blitz since my last live stream. That's how busy I've been. I uh, I have an exam tomorrow, so I won't be able to stream for too long, as you guys know, you know, maybe an hour and a half or so. Uh, then I have an exam on Wednesday and a bunch of projects to work on. I'm just very busy, you know, last semester. Dings, hello button, how's it going? How's it going, guys? Welcome to everybody in chat. So let's hop, let's hop right to it. All right, um, pretty decent lineup for me to face against. Let me just get, <clears throat> get a little comfortable over here. All right. Um, yeah, we'll be fine on the bedside, I think. The Carol could be slightly problematic. I always like to go for those early blind shots. But you see, you know, 30B, we're cruising with the light tanks, no problem in our... 
My name surname is spawn sniping and is Leo. I mean, it's better than yellowing and dying, I guess. All right, let's aim in a shot at the Sheridan. Right away, you will notice the very good accuracy on the AMX 30B. So it really didn't take me too much time to just fully aim in at that player over there. And I don't know if that Carol is going to poke or not, but there's definitely a tank back there somewhere. I'm either going to wait. I'm going to wait and see. If he overextends here even slightly, although he's probably just waiting for me, to be honest. There's the Sheridan. Quick shell to him there. Let's pull back. So, getting some nice early shells in. Already 700 or so damage dealt. And, you know, in on this side of the map, in this scenario, I'm best off... I'm best off pulling back a little bit. That's what I'm best off doing. All right, let's pop the Adrenaline here. Pop a quick shell to the Kuro. Kuro gets himself done nuked a little bit here. It's perfect for me. Um, can't quite hit another shell to him. If the enemy team do decide to YOLO in on me, which would probably be a bit of a mistake on their part. Uh, okay, Sheridan's gonna hit me. Silly Sheridan. He should hopefully get... Nope. Okay, I was gonna say he should hopefully get nuked for that. What we can do is, while well, paying attention to that corner, just hold hold on here. They won't really be able to push in on me. Or if they try, it's gonna be a bit of a pain for them. So this 263 over here already getting kind of elbows it a little bit. Let's pop a shell into the weak spot of his lower plate and pull back. He's still focusing for me. This Karo also focusing for me. These players are really bleeding out like crazy. So that's why... Don't just run away necessarily. And you'll notice at the start of this game, I was keeping an eye to make sure I did have at least a few allies covering me from above. And because I did have those allies covering me, we're just going to move back and forth. I knew that if they tried to poke on me like these poor, poor, silly players have been doing, they would very much suffer for it. And just like that, we've, like, we've practically just won this game. And I had to do quite literally nothing. Anyways, 263 is a bit hard for me to out-traverse, so I'm not going to try too hard to get around him, especially if there's a Chieftain Mark 6 covering him. We'll just pop a quick shell into his tank here. The tank is very, very fast, but, you know, as long as he's distracted. Okay, I totally could have Circle of Death him there, but I'll just take the safer route for now, you know? Doesn't hurt. All right. Let's see if we, uh, if we can not throw a kill shot against this player. And just like that, with a little bit of allied support, we did our job. We did get penned through the corner of the turret there, which, you know, is one of the weak spots you have to pay attention to. But with this accuracy, this DPM, we've already pulled out over 4,000 damage this game. And that's what I'm just talking about. This tank just has so much versatility. You can farm damage super easily with it, but you do need the activated neurons to make it work, right? You know, I had to position myself very intelligently that game, pay attention to what my allies were doing. I wasn't able to just YOLO in and farm 4K or whatever. It was all about just paying attention to what the team was doing. And so that'll probably be an ace in this in this tank, I, I'm going to assume, because I got a lot of spotting there as well as, a, you know, over 4,700 damage dealt. Um, this tank still has a ridiculously low ace bar, which kind of surprises me. Uh, lovely 160,000 credits profit. And uh, there we go, not too shabby. Um, yeah, Leo, you know, he helped out when they yellowed me. It, the TDs did most of the most of the work there, but not a, not a terrible first game. I'm glad I didn't overcommit to the corner there. I was a little concerned. Uh, that's why I don't like to overcommit, especially since I only had a TI2 for support there. So I'll take it. I'll take that uh, decent, just under 5k game. So haven't tried this tank out. Gent, you need to try the 30B, dude. It is such a good tank. Like... Fan is so screwed. I don't want to hear it, Blaine. I don't want to hear it. My my big brain spawn sniping teammates actually were useful for once. Oh, I hate having to rely on players like that to stay alive, but it, it works out. Because on that spawn, you can pull back to that corner. You're mostly haul down, and they have to kind of overextend to shoot at you. And since I still had three allies that, that were just kind of staring at that corner, I felt pretty safe there. So we're going to spot up this side here. The Sheridan will probably cross before I can get any shots out. I'm just going to see. I don't know if the Sheridan's already crossed or not. I'll just take a shot in case. I'm going to keep spotting. Okay, I don't think he crossed because he, he probably would have been... Um, he probably would have been spotted poking for me or something if he had already... Oh yeah, he shot at our Progetto. Good to know. So the Sheridan's probably somewhere back there. What type of support do I have? I have a 113 GFT. Now, the enemy team also have a Progetto and a Sheridan over here. Let's just keep spotting this up a little bit. I don't want to overextend just yet. Uh, oh, the Sheridan is up top. Okay. Took him a long enough time to poke up there. So, I actually just got elbowed by Mr. Sheridan. But well, Mr. Sheridan also might get elbows in just a little bit here. Okay. There's the 405. I'm glad I didn't overextend there then. I just got to keep spotting for now. There's not a whole lot for me to do here, to be honest. 405 did get himself somewhat nuked, which is good. Um, enemy Sheridan may have spotted me there. If not, the Progetto definitely did. Okay, there's the Prog. 
Our prog being a little bit over aggressive here, maybe. Put a quick shell into him though, but their prog's also being over aggressive. So I'm gonna pop that adrenaline, start farming these dudes out while they're a bit over extendo over here. Now, I mean, obviously if the Sheridan's lucky, he can pen me through the turret here. If he is uh, unlucky, he will not even hit me. So hopefully we can just peek on him. You know, this is a poke that would be a lot more risky in a Leo 1, but you can pull it off in a 30B because they actually have to pause and aim in for you. And if they're unable to get that aim in fully, then there's actually a pretty significant chance they will bounce. So I think now is a good time for me to begin my counter push on this end of the map here. Pop a quick kill shot into this dude. Okay, or not. We'll just get scammed completely. Prague does miss his shell there though. So that's good. Pop a quick kill into him at least. Not really sure where that shot on the Sheridan went, but uh, it is what it is. Let's just pop a quick kill onto him there. Nice. We know there's still a 405 around this corner somewhere, so we're just gonna pull back from him, pop a blind shot in. That DPM, man, that DPM just really allows you to be so, so flexible in this tank. And the accuracy is just really nice, right? For them snapshots, them quick peeks, you can have absolutely no problem whatsoever picking up kills very easily in this tank. Now, 26A is the only unspotted enemy as of right now. I do have to be careful. I don't want to get HE'd per se. Um, I'm sure he's waiting for us to poke over here. So he was, but fortunately for us, he was not fully prepared. I'm actually going to go to a hold on spot here. So I can maybe start farming these, these dudes out from behind. But it looks like they're not paying attention to me just yet. There's the WZTD. Put a quick shell towards him there. I'm going to get nice and hold on over here for the 26A. All right, let's see. We can pop a quick shot to him here. He should not have any good shots on me. He does fire as well. Shot into his side. Perfect. WZ, I stand. Very little chance of penning in a frontal engagement here. But he also has to overextend if he really wants to shoot at me. All right, track shot maybe. Not quite. We can still pull back from him. Okay, that's not good at all. All right. Okay, 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 okay. Ah, oh, I should have used the 268 as a shield. Okay, guys, you are going to push a yo, right? <laughs> I didn't think our prog was... Oh, there's our WZ. We're going to win. We're going to win. We're still going to win. Feels bad, man. I didn't... The 268 actually hitting that on the move was such a scam. Where did he even pen my... Oh, he went through the corner of the turret there. That was an elbosimus. Feels bad, man. We should win, though. We have a pretty much full HP WZ. There you go, heavies. You can do it. You can do it. There you go. Good job, boys. Good job. It only, you know, we only took the attention of both their full HP tier 10 TDs on the flank. I know that yo was really hard for the four of you guys to kill. <laughs> uh, I think we still did close to 4K in the end, though. We did, do, we did over 4K. Like, even in that game, which honestly didn't feel the most ideal for me, it was still super easy to pull out a 4K damage game there. That's why I'm just talking about this tank, man. You, like, you barely do anything and it's 4K damage. <laughs> One less person. Finally, I thank you. Enjoy. Good luck, bro. Thank you, Russian Disaster, for the $50 donation. Very much appreciated. And yes, I absolutely love this tank. So, 100% going to keep enjoying it. <laughs> uh, at least I'm having fun in this vehicle. Even with somewhat diabolical uh, games, at least this tank is fun to say the least all right and i'm not even i'm not even gonna lie i think i prefer playing this tank over the leo one yes the leo one has a far superior gun that is without a doubt but i mean the leo one now only has eight degrees of gun depression it's not necessarily faster than this tank so i can't even play hold on like it's more of a dedicated sniper Finally, type vehicle time to enjoy. what celebratory gesture good luck bro okay cool did course. someone did did some papegamus get like spotted behind me or are they all just pre-aiming that corner that's the real question here all right, quick shot into the 215B. I'm not really sure where my show on the Leo 1 went, so I might have overpeaked there. I actually get penned through the bottom of my mantle, if that is true. That's crazy. The crazy unlucky, although it looks like it was an APCR shell. So it feels like an APCR shell from a Leo, which is standard, actually. So I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Sometimes it looks like the gun mantle was penned when it wasn't. I'm pretty sure I got penned through the hall there, though, in this scenario. All right. Quick shell into the bash shot the yawn. Now, I'm not going to overpressure this side. I think that would be a mistake. We can see the TVP rotating back. We can also see an IS-7 kind of pre-aiming for us. We'll put a quick shell into the TVP while he's crossing out, at least, so we can get his HP down a bit. But we are going to have to keep an eye out for him, as well as this 215B here. So, what can we do at the moment? At the moment, my whole team's just kind of sitting in the Narnia sphere, which is quite enjoyable, if I say so myself. The IS-7's pushing around through here. Our 215B... Our E5 is capping B, which is a, a strange, strange a decision on his part, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, can't pen that. I'm more concerned about the TVP's position, so we're just going to keep an eye on the TVP. But if this IS-7 stays in the open, we can keep farming him kind of passively from back here, as long as that grill 
doesn't get too eager to start shooting at me on this corner. There we go. Quick shot to the grill there. Can make those peaks somewhat comfortably because they at least have to aim them in a little bit. All right. And, oh, man, that's just unfortunate timing on my part. <laughs> I pulled back the moment that dude went to shoot. All right. We're going to just stay safe, continue to stay safe over on this side from all those TDs and the TBP, which is probably the bigger issue that I'm concerned about right now. But with my allies being fairly aggressive on the counter push through here, not over concerned. What the heck is this Leo doing? Okay, I was not expecting the Leo to make a play like this. All right, quick shot to the Leo. I'm still going to keep a position where I can stay safe from the TBP for now. And cover my allies if they start getting pressured through here. All right, Leo is on C cap. Yep, why don't you pressure me, buddy? Why don't you poke that, huh? All right, Leo can't poke me. I'm just waiting for the TBP to get found, to be honest. Ah, oh, this sucks, man. The TBP getting out alive is the biggest L, L momento. All right, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, try and poke it, buddy. See how that goes for you. Nice meme. All right, TVP's farming my other dude out a bit here. So let's just wait a moment. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. So I should be unspotted right about now. All right. You think that TVP is loaded? I think we should clear out the TVP. We can't have him just sitting on our flank all game. I think that'd be detrimental to me and my allies. With my adrenaline, I can get my reload to about five-ish seconds. So if I can get the first shell in on this TBP and pull back behind cover, I can kill him without taking hopefully more than sh one shell in return. So that's going to be kind of my agenda right now, is to make sure we can clear out this TBP. I assume he's probably somewhere in our spawn. I mean, we're going to win. We're, we are going to win. It's just 268 TBP and... Wow, did I just like perfectly get debated by that TBP through B cap? Okay. I see how it is. Okay, I see how it is. That, that, it, it do be that way sometimes. I'll just poke him from above. The 268 can't do anything about me at the moment. Although, he's thinking about it. I can probably get an early shot on the TVP from here. He's not going to pull forward, right? Um, I thought he wasn't going to pull forward, which he shouldn't. There he is. Quick shot to the TVP there. There's the 268 as well. Nice. So we have the 268's position found out. Quick shot to him as well. All right. TVP is trying to pull up the flank over here. So we do manage to get a nice early spot onto him. See if we can pick up a clear on him. Not quite. He should go down here pretty soon. Nice. And that just leaves the 268 left. I took an easy route because a TVP could have a very big impact on the late, late, late uh, part of this game if we're not careful. And we should, we should be fine now. We just got to YOLO this 268 together as long as our 183 doesn't get himself needlessly killed here. Which he will. But at least he nuked the 268 in the process of doing it. So I'll give him credit for that. I'm just going to YOLO this man here. Hopefully, with this decently long reload, he won't be able to get to me. That should get me a 4k damage at least. I'll take it. <laughs> bit of a slow game. We still got 4k out. A bit unfortunate, man. Ah, oh, I'm so annoyed about that shot took from the i7. Dude, dude was barely hit me there because I backed up too fast. I guarantee if I'd pulled forward there, he actually would have bounced that shot. But I pulled back and I actually took it through the side of the turret. That is what it is. A bit of a sweaty game. I think I did my job okay there. Uh, bleeding at the start was definitely not ideal. I think afterwards we played it fine for the most part. So I'll take the W. I will take the W. Gamayla did get nerfed a lot, but still good, good bounces from standard most of the time. At least that's what I remember reading. Yeah, Chad, I mean, at least that's my experience with the 30B. A lot of the standard rounds will still bounce off the mantlet. Um, and if they're spamming keyed at it, obviously it's spaced armor. So really the only ammo types you have to worry about is like premium AP, APCR, or if they hit it perfectly. If I remember correctly, they could only pen like like little portion on the front of it kind of near where the guns attached and like the outside corners i believe are the strong part which is where most players are going to end up accidentally shooting it anyways so what we're going to do for this game here is hmm, spot the outside of the hill at first in case we can find one of their heavies crossing hopefully i don't get spotted doing this there we go um so let's see at first if we can find anyone going up the hill we do find ourselves in e75 so let's put a quick shot to him there but we also got some good insight that they have you know around two tanks going town or so all right can we hit this can we hit this no we cannot so they have two tanks in town they do have some dangerous meds up here that are having a field day eating our poor poor companion here alive on the hill um, and I can't really do anything about the Kampfpanzer just yet. Also, I'm going to get spotted from this side. So let's try and not take a shot from this dude. We'll just back up. There you go. Nice little 400 roll as well. So 50 TP, objects in town. They have multiple tanks in town. We're going to have to push the hill here at some point as a team. 
uh, because because right now this ain't gonna cut it. Quick shout to that KPZ 438, a little max roll, because you know why not? And once again, we can just see this tank's gun working so so well, even against that you know even against that KPZ 50 over here, who's gonna try and run away? Oh wow, yeah, I aimed that one way too low. That wasn't even the gun's fault. That was just a certified skill issue if I've ever seen one. All right, same 268 from earlier. E75 is just chilling over here. Let's wait for the E75 to shoot maybe. 268 might be a bit of a problem here. We'll track them at least for now. Um, we do got to clear out these meds as quickly as possible. But I would rather not bleed any HP for it if I can help it. Okay, this dude just fired. I'm going to pop my adrenaline now because we do, we do like, need to clear out this KP very quickly if we can. There we go. Quick shot to this man's. Now, E75 is stock, so he should have about... Eh, about 310 alpha in a, in a fairly short, maybe 8 second reload, I think. Quick shell towards his hatch there, not quite. Alright, our team in town doing a pretty good job. We actually have some crossfires from back here, so let's see. We do have to watch out for those supremacy cap points, because the enemy team are going to be accumulating them very quickly. But at least our team is pulling up through spawn pretty well here. And here's where this DPM buff is just so noticeable in the tank. 2500 damage dealt already. Nice. Actually, we might even be able to pick up a clear on this dude here. Okay, we would have, but he got killed before I could. And, um, well, 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 what do we got here if it isn't a wee little AFK? Don't mind if I do. I don't have any good shots anyways at the moment. So, uh, I'm just going to be a Pepega Rat Andy farming this AFK over here. All right. Let's go. We can get another shell to this man. So we're clear. Good stuff. Now I should be able to just kind of pressure the CS here a little bit. So let's put a quick shell towards the CS's tracks, maybe. The front of his tank here. We're just going to kind of hold haul down. And poor CS, he doesn't even have close to enough DPM to compete with me here. Dude's like struggling. You see, that's another thing that people don't consider. Like, it still takes time to aim in at this vehicle. Like, that CS, he didn't have really enough gun depression to shoot my haul um, at that angle there. So my man was just like, oh, I'll just, you know, take my time aiming it in. That actually ended up costing him an extra shot, like, not being able to get as much damage into me there. All right, let's put a quick shot to this 268. I mean, come on, man. Did this... Did this even feel like 5k damage? 5.4k damage? Like, it's five and a half thousand damage almost. That bad. I, okay, you know, I did farm like three shots into an AFK. I admit, uh, regardless, I still would have gotten good damage in the end, right? I still would have gotten good damage in the end. Another, I got another ace. This tank is ridiculous. <laughs> it's so fun to play. Why is this tank so fun, man? I love this vehicle so much. It, it, in my opinion, it's the perfect med. And one of the best out there. But... Like, I, like I've stated at the beginning of the stream, it, it does take a competent player to make this tank work, I think. Just like a Leo 1. A Leo 1, a lot of players consider to be one of the best out there. Not everyone can play the Leo 1 well. 30B is in that kind of same kind of category. Just a little bit more flexible than a Leo. Tank looks pretty fire for you when to stop talking about it too. Dude, same dude. Jen, I wouldn't stop talking about this tank before the update. <laughs> Thank you for Thank you coming, for with, coming the 30 with the 30B stream. Definitely stream. try the MXM 454 after the stage is made. Thank you, 30B, for the $5 changes. donation. I, I'll consider it. I'm not a huge fan of the M4's gun handling. And, you know, the one thing I did like about the old M4 was it's kind of really punchy gun, which it lost significant portions of that punchiness. But uh, may maybe for a game, I'll try it at the end of the stream. Why, why not, you know? Get, get a little bit of M4 action in. Okay, so no early damage here. Their whole team's in mid, but I have a feeling they have even more players kind of going towards the back. Watch the 183, like, blind fire this bush and hash me by accident. Oh, interesting. Oh, no, I got spooted. That's not good. All right, we have a 1-2-1 one, up top here. We got ourselves a wild chieftain. There is a 183 back there. I am toast. I'm not going to I'm not gonna make that play until we know where the 183 is. So their team is very split. And our 57, bless his soul, is all by himself. I'm fairly certain if there was a 183 back there, he would have shot at me by now. So I'm going to keep spotting this top side, actually. I think that's going to provide some value to my allies, just being able to keep an eye on this end. Once we get more of a feel of how the game's playing out, I think we can make some rotations around. Um, 57 kind of getting elbowed over here. There's the E6 rotating out as well. So yeah, they really do have a lot of tick. Quite an interesting play there by the 183. Was not... Exp oh, does he only have one repair kit? Oh no, he has two. But maybe with the perma tracking. Okay, we get another track shot into him. He has just enough reload time for me to get one more shell into him here. There we go. See, that's where that DPM buff on the 30B gives you that one extra shot out, the one extra track shot. And so I was able to get, you know, actually two extra shots out there due to this tank being able to just have that much faster DPM than it used to. 
Uh, enemy team is full sending it around this corner here, it looks like. Let's put a quick shot to the one two one at least. There we go. As far as cover fire goes on this corner, it's just me and a 183. We can pull back and go hold down here. Maybe the 260 will rotate back to support us or something. Uh, as of right now, I'm just going to take it a little bit more easy. Oh! Buddy just got... Elbozimus Maximus by the 183. Our 268 is going to have to withdraw from here a bit. I still have some cover fire from my allies back here. And the enemy's E6 unfortunately spotted me up before I could do much about him. So E6 is not paying attention to me. He's not pulling forward either. You going to pull forward, buddy? G give me give me just a shot. Just a shot. Thank you. All right. I knew he was pulling forward, so I just took the, the blind fire there. All right. E6 is having a not very gamer experience either. I could go up top and clear the Sheridan out, but that would put me in a crossfire with the Chieftain. Which, would the Chieftain go for me? Okay, the Chieftain pushed all the way into their spawn. Alright, let's clear that Sheridan out. Hopefully the 1-8-3 is not aiming in for me. Looks like he is not. Uh, let's get ready to counter this Sheridan here. I think our team's gonna win this game. That- Oh! My buddy just got wrecked! Damn, my allies are goaded this game. I don't think I'm even gonna farm. I just played more defensively and... Yeah. There's their- there's their whole team. As dead as can be. All right, so let's see. We should have some nice rear farm on this E6 at least. Quick shell into the E6 here. Can't quite HE him. That's fine. I'll just take another AP shell into him. Love this DPM, man. This reload with ramp with adrenaline going is just insane. And there we go. There's that really, really decent all movement dispersion that this tank has now, allowing me to even track the two and five B here. We should be able to reload in time to put another shell into him here before he gets completely full health. There we go. And I think the Sheridan was running through the back end here. Although, personally, I think he will... Okay, I was gonna say, I think he'll rotate back, but... Nah, my man feels like the, getting the 183 experience. Quick shell to the Sheridan there, at least. Let's go. This gun is so darn good. We still got 3.6 thousand... 3,600 damage out of that game, right? And I wasn't really damage farming too much that battle. It was just kind of chilling. Still a decent 3,600 there. Love this, man. Love this tank so much. Ugh, I better stop harping on. It's another ace. Dude, you guys are all sleeping on this vehicle. How is 3,500 damage an ace on such a beloved tank? I don't understand. <laughs> but I you want to deal with camping heavies and just in general bad and unbalanced matchmaking. Don't. Don't what? To be honest, I don't just get rid of Blitz tonight, so it won't really matter. <laughs> hmm? Oh, yeah, yeah. Lewis, you having fun with the allies? Greetings from Australia. Ah, greetings. All right, let's see what we can do this battle. Ooh, this one might be a bit more of a brawl. So it's me and a Patton. Oh, and a T9 too. The enemy team have a 62A and a 121, but they also have an AMX 5120, 57. You know, some decently mobile heavies, which may end up coming to this side of the map. Uh, so I'll have to keep an eye out for that if I make sure I don't overcommit or anything. Put a quick... Okay, I uh, missed the timing there a little bit on that poor dude. Um... One, two, one can't really shoot at me. Just barely missing the 62A there. And it does look like, all right, well, heavy's in town. 57, that was the one I was most concerned about. So I will happily take that. This one, two, one, very determined to just shoot at me, which is actually going to be a bit of his um, mistake here as he takes a few shots from our allies uh, because he was a little bit over tunneled on me there. Let's track him again. That's fine. I really don't mind taking that shot to keep him permatracked here. Me and the pan will be able to clear him out soon. There we go. He gets taken out. There is a 183 on the rails. We do need to keep an eye on him. But as far as I'm concerned, the 62A is as good as fried toast, or yeah, he is dead. He is already dead. So, yeah. Uh, actually, no, the patent needs to help clear him out. I, on the other hand, I think I'm going to see if I can spot up that 183. Okay, let's try and stay unspotted here just for a moment. All right, I'm sure the 183 is still on the rails somewhere, right? Oh, he's not on the rails. Interesting. Kind of expected them to still be there. I'm going to keep spotting up the rails at least. For the time being, so maybe if the 60 starts pulling out, put a quick shell towards him. He actually hits me. Okay, maybe this tank is maybe this tank's gunman list sucks now. What is this nonsense with players accidentally pinning? It's that like they're always hitting that one little corner. Okay, the 183's in town. It's always that one corner on the bottom left side of my turret here. It's like it's like where that little box is located. I think that's like one of the weak spots. It's funny because I keep getting hit there by chance. And you know darn well these players are not aiming for that. It is the uh, unluck of the draw, you could say. But uh, anyways, we are still chilling over here. 183 is kind of turning back for me, so I got to be careful for him. But for now, for now, I'm not too concerned with how this game is unfolding. We should be good for the, for the time being. 
All right, 183. You gonna pull around this corner, buddy? Do it. All right, quick shot to the 183. He does get himself done nuked a little bit here. It looks like he's just straight up sending it for me. He's dead. Now it's just an E100 this left. Not a bad game. I was a little cautious on the dune, so I didn't really farm as much as I could have. Oh, guess the uh, the E100 side shot. Ah! My team was just way too good. They absolutely destroyed town and they absolutely destroyed dune, so good for them. That was definitely a, a, a big no farm game for me. They, they nerfed the 30 v man. I know, I know. It's like, it's only like the lower like corner that I keep getting penned through right there. Which is funny because you know players are not aiming for that. They're aiming for the hatch and they're just missing and hitting it by chance. <laughs> Alrighty. Already like the stream? Well, thank you very much. Do appreciate that. Yo, why do you never like the stream? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's why you said you like the stream. I see. North Lava going ham and chat. Oh, that's true. We only have 66 likes and 230 viewers. He, he does have a point, although I don't usually ask for likes too much. Just at the, just at the start. Like, appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Okay, okay. Here's what I could do. But I'm thinking about doing. I'm trying to remember what equipment. I actually might run armor on this tank on my account, which could make an actual difference. I, I will have to. I don't know if I run armor on it, but because it does have some pretty sharp auto ricochet angles, it might be kind of the right profile to run on it. I don't know. I'll have to. I'll have to verify and see. All right. Quick shell towards the TI2. Unfortunately, that one did not pen. Enemy 62A getting quite aggressive here. Let's put a quick shell to him there. All right. And we can already see the enemy's T57 heavy. And some other tanks are getting ready to cross on up top here. Put a quick shot to hit him there. I'm gonna pull back. So what I think I'm gonna do now is okay. I'm just gonna get kind of get out of the middle here. I don't really like being stuck in the middle too much, especially if they have tanks going A. So I would much rather see if I can try and do anything about clearing out the seaside. Get him some crossfires, and here's just where the lovely mobility on the 30B can allow me to rotate out without too much grief, hopefully. And let's see what we can do from here. So. I'm sure the 183 is in their spawn. Okay, that whole is being really aggressive. These players are being quite weird. I'm glad I'm in a mobile medium tank, though. It actually allows me to kind of counter their very bizarre yolo West gameplay. Oh. Hey, don't, 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 no, 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 no. Please, please, sir. Uh, please, kind sir. Uh, stay right there. Thank you. Quick shot to that man. So I'm probably spotted now, I would assume. It is a light tank after all. Yep, surely am. So I'll just pull down a little bit. All right. I do want to take corner. Let's see if we can start crossfiring any of these fools out. And I should be unspotted right about now. All right. 62A giving me some nice side shots. We'll aim this one in. There we go. 340 damage into him there. I don't think he's going to poke again. Or if he does, it's going to be his mistake. Because he takes another 320 or so to the face. Or to the rear. <laughs> uh, 57 heavy. Is, is he going to cross through the open here? Maybe through there? No. Hit a little too low. So I don't think the 183 is actually over here. What a, what a, what a, what a big surprise. Do we hit these? Do we hit these? Do, do we believe? Almost. Oh, there's the 183. Alright, so a wild 183 has been spotted on the flank here. Luckily for me, he is kind of yoloing in on the Leo, so I can actually start farming him out to some extent. Let's track him, maybe. There we go. Keep our Leo alive a little bit longer with some track shots here. That'll be clutch for him. Another shell to him. Um, Leo doing his best to not kill this 183 right now as he's getting HE'd up the boote. But I'll HE their Leo at the back of the turret, and so I actually don't really do that much damage in the end. Yeah. Uh, quick shell to this TI2. There we go. Leo did um, a very interesting YOLO uh, YOLO push over here, I will admit. Alright, let's see what the enemy's Leo does here. Quick shot to him as well. Nice. I'm just going to rotate back and see. Oh my gosh, is our Leo actually going to get away with this? Is he actually a certified gamer? He's a certified gamer! How did he get away with that? What? My man should have died with that ridiculous YOLO, but no! Nah. He actually survived! Like, what? That's crazy! Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, he's finally dead. The YOLOer is finally dead. Well, thank heavens that Leo was alive as long as he was over here. Alright, um... Quick kill shot to this man's here. And we got ourselves a wild 57 heavy. Who does bounce off my turret? Let's go! My turret armor isn't... See, look, it's not... It's the quarters of the mantlet that are definitely the strongest. Anyways, I should be able to just YOLO into this dude and DPM him, even if he has a full mag for me and, like, 10 seconds or so, it's not going to really make too much of a difference. Track him, maybe. If I can at least keep tracking him, though, that would be worth it, maybe. Another track shot. And if I can make him waste any time in terms of being able to clip me here. <laughs> Hello, 57. How's life going for you, buddy? All right. Another track shot. Let's go. 
I don't want him to catch me on fire by any chance. That would that would suck big time. All right, there we go. All right, we should be good in terms of damage per minute. Now I can just YOLO around and clear him out. I just like to play it safe with 57 heavies because, you know, these are nasty little critters. Very, very nasty little critters indeed. Oh, 330. That's not good. All right, I should still be able to out DPM him here, I think, with Rammer. Nice. There we go. I'm glad I, uh, I'm glad I took a little bit of time killing him there. Just a few extra track shots to make sure he would be low enough HP to kill him before his next magazine reloaded in, what, 18, 19 seconds? Whatever the reload is. Um, yeah, 5,800 damage, ace tanker. Um... Man, it's just sent it. I, I, I'm impressed he stayed alive as long as he did, you know? Uh, doing just under 6,000 damage in the good old 30B. I think really the only, like, bad game I've had was the, the Desert Sands game, which was just really fast. But, like, <laughs> but Leo, Miku Nanako, best waifu. What is this? What is this, Miku? Nonsense. <laughs> it's late over here. How are you? Uh, fine, thank you. <laughs> Thanks for playing, everyone. Indeed. 21 reload. Oh, is it 21? Oh, I thought they I thought they reduced its uh its reload on his magazine. Or was it higher than 21? I thought it was like reduced from like 21 to like 19, but I could be tripping. Maybe it is 21. Um I actually have not not like played the 57 since the update. Anyways, my allies, like my Pepega, Sheridan, and Leo didn't want to go right side with me, so it looks like we're gonna be forced to play town. Oh, that's such an elbows in this moment. Uh, but actually, I don't mind town so much. It's a bit, usually a bit more chill than that right side. A lot less crossfires, at least. So I'm gonna do my best to at least spot up. Maybe their heavies crossing into town on this end here. I'm sure they will have someone going this way. There is a 200 LT. There's a 5120. 5120 getting a little bit aggro over here. And oh my gosh, there's the enemy's... Oh wait, I can't shoot through that. Enemy's Leo is in town as well. Very interesting gameplay by the enemy team. Let's put a quick heat round into him. A bit of an overpeak on my part, if I say so myself. But I will take it at... Oh my gosh, there's a TVP in town as well. Brother, no... Okay, that is not a good poke to make. That is very much not a good poke for me to make there. So there's a Yag over here. Um, there's a TVP over here. What type of support do I have? I have a couple heavies for support at least. So the good news is I got I got the heavy I got the heavy tanks with me. That's the good news. Is there still a Yag there? If I get spotted, he's still poking. If not, he pulled back just enough. Okay, he pulled back just enough, I think. Although it looks like I did at least blind fire him. Quick shot to the Leo. Nice. I didn't get any of you early shots in. You can definitely com fairly comfortably play this tank in a town environment. Uh, as long as you have hold on cover, that's really their biggest criteria. Although, you know, obviously against the Yag Panzer, 60 TP, you know, tanks like that, you don't want to just pull out and poke them. That's a pretty silly idea uh, because they're, they're going to have no, no significant trouble penning you. All right, quick pen into this dude here. Nice. Looks like we are definitely winning this side of the map. I'm just more or less paying attention to this Jaeger here. All right, quick side shot to the 60 TP. We're just, we're just casually farming up here to our heart's content. 60 TP should die in a moment's time, and then this Yag will be pretty much free for all of us. Quick track shot into the Jaegeru. Lovely stuff. I think what I'm going to do here is we're just going to kind of get on this Jaegeru's rear. We're just going to kind of focus the 75 out, because why not? But as this dude is almost dead, we'll put a quick shot into him here, and he's not going to be an issue to me any longer. Very nice. And uh, top of the turret, maybe? Not quite. It is what it is. I think I'll just go for the TVP here. TVP, unfortunately, elbows wing one of my allies, but yeah, very, very fast game. I was barely able to get 3k out this game, but you know, I think we did okay in the town. That's what you're going to have to do, though, if you're going to play the 30B in town. It's obviously a lot more support, support role. I think we did our job there, and I pushed it at the right moment to kind of get a little more damage out. Enemy team. How is 31? Okay. I know I did like, I know I got 1300 base XP because I was extremely aggressive in town. Like, you know, frontlining against their heavies and TDs point blank means you get a lot more XP than like passive gameplay. So, you know, 1300 base XP for 3K is, is actually a lot, but like still, how is 3K an ace, man? How is 3K an ace? How? This thing is so good. <laughs> we never pull out, ain't that right, guys? Curious. How many children do you have? That's the real question. That's the real question. Our clocks went back one hour last night, but still here. LOL. Wait, did it? Uh, not where I'm at. I don't know when. When is daylight savings in North America? Because, <laughs> oh, come on, come on, please, please, please don't drive into me. Dude, you're making me lose all my momentum, buddy. Oh my gosh. If you want to cut across in front of someone, just wait for them to drive past you. Like, 
<laughs> I was driving straight the way I was going. This dude's just like, oh, guys, I gotta push across. Oh, it made me lose so much momentum in early spotting this battle. I should still be unspotted. All right, there's the enemy's T124. Sadly, unable to pen him there. Allies are a bit all over the place, I will admit. All right, E4 pulling up a little bit. I can't quite overextend here. I know E4 can butter my turret. Um, the, the good news is, though, we do know where at least two of their tank destroyers are, so that's always lovely, ain't it? 62A with his turret armor buff. Ain't no way I'm penning that fool, so we're just gonna have to take it easy. And I do think I see a threat here, which might be the Sheridan pulling down low. Yeah, there we go. Quick shot to the Sheridan. Nice. Always good to pay attention to your surroundings and watch where those things are rotating in and out from, because... Yeah, as, you know, that Sheridan just demonstrated, it's a bit predictable sometimes when they do stuff like that. Um, two Lego guys. I don't know if you're a subscriber, but... I very much do recognize your name. Um, also, our Minerato here, with the not-so-big-brain gameplay plays over here, that was a, uh, that was definitely an L play by that man's there, as he got yeeted by Yeageru, <laughs> and a 268, and an E4, I think. Alright, hat shot, maybe? Not quite. Oh my gosh, this dude is actually overextending for me. I didn't think it was going to pull all the way out for me there. That shot. Oh, I mean, the accuracy is good on this thing, but it, it ain't it ain't no Leo 140 sniper, that's for sure. All right, quick shelters to 62 way and oh, right, the E4. That was a bit of a lack of foresight on my on my my part there. Too bad I took that shot. That sucked. He barely hit the front of my hull, too. Alright, well, at this point, I'm just going to ignore this low side. This E50M is a bit overextended, I think, with the prog and stuff like that. Uh, we do have to watch out for the Jaeger route as well. Back up. Thank you. Quick shot to this man's here. We could theoretically kill him, but I don't think we will, sadly. Uh, Jaeger route is about to pull forward, maybe. Mm, can't quite shoot him from here. What is the 62A doing? 62A getting Omega aggressive up top here. Very interesting plays by Mr. 62A. Put a shell into his engine deck. There we go. Bringing him down to a two shot at least. Um, it seems like he, he does really want to shoot at me. Oh, my team is on zero to three somehow. That's actually kind of a surprise. All right. I mean, I expected them to bleed a little bit. I wasn't expecting them to be down this much. Nice shot, Fosh. Wow, that must have gone slightly high. What the heck is this prog doing? All right, quick clear. Ah, he barely had a shot on me. Too bad. I really don't want to take that because now I'm a 50-50 one shot to the Yeageru. All right. So Yag's up top. 268's in the middle. We know the position. Our 113 should be fine for now. We know where the E4 is. Good stuff, 113. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put myself into a more defensive position here, honestly. I'm going to put myself into a spot where if the Yeager does want to push into me, it's going to hopefully cost him a lot, right? Because there's going to be some crossfires around here. So that, that was the goal of this spot here. Okay, quick shot to this man's. Fosh does take one for the team, but the Yeager at least is, um, you know, bleeding out some HP here and there. Quick heat shell to his lower plate. Maybe we can get another heat shell in here. I think if we can track him, that'd be perfect. Perfect. All right, Fosh picking up a nice clear. What I'm going to do now is we'll ignore the 268, and I'm actually going to wait for my counter reset nice here. Nice And Austria. go back to help our Fashi Poo over here, who seems to be a little bit maybe getting pressured here. I don't want to take any shots at the moment if I can help it. That would that would be kind of unpleasant, to say the least. All right, there's the E4, so a quick shot to the T124. Nice, so we do have some info on the E4's positioning. That's good for me. I think what I'm going to do is even pull back further than this. Um, man, I really don't want to take any shots at the moment. I, I'm more concerned about the 62A finding a hold on position to farm me at. All right. Oh, the 62A is on my right. Interesting play. Nice. The Fosh picking up a clear over there. 62A making a bit of a silly play as well. Foshy Poo in some trouble. I'm coming, Foshy Poo. Don't die, my friend. I have faith in your abilities. Maybe a high explosive shell. High roll, let's go. 450, 4k damage dealt. Oh, what a sweaty game! Ah. <laughs> nice greets from Austria. Thank you, SDS, for the donation. Really do appreciate that. Um, goodness. All right. People who deserve an upvote this game. Fosh, late game performance was immaculate. Good stuff there. 113, you held for a long time down low. Do appreciate that as well. Uh, and it looks like the 268 also actually managed to farm a decent amount. This dude, uh, this dude got elbows on. Poor, poor Minotaro. Uh, yeah, that was just a, that was a rip moment. I guess Buddy wasn't paying attention to the DDs. Oh, what a sweaty game. I'll take a W, though. I will happily take a W.
And gotta love them 900 plus rolls, dude, on the Fosh. Oh, Jaeger is really good tech now with Tungsten. Oh, yeah, Yag is such a mean vehicle, man. Such a mean vehicle. Uh, <laughs> hey, Fanis, did some 44k my 60 TP. Good for you, dude. That's always fun getting some of those nice high damage games in, you know? Epic comeback. I know, we were down 0 3, dude. <laughs> Same enemy Fosh, same and uh, same allied Fosh on the enemy team, same enemy Yag. I don't know. I I usually prefer going left side, but uh, you know what? I will go left side a little bit. What I'm actually gonna do start of this game is take an early spotting position. If their big old heavies are crossing, I should be able to get a shot or maybe two shots off onto them right off the bat. If you don't know about the spotting position, it's not too shabby for like mediums and lights. Obviously, concept being a little too fast there. But if I sit here and pre aim. One of the other heavies is going to cross, and as long as my aim isn't completely terrible, like, you know, 57. What? That's just why I hate 57s, man. They're so annoying. Oh, he didn't spot me. Okay, so all three heavies are over here. The Fosh is kind of on this flank in the op opposing position to me. Okay. Oh, that's not good. There's a 57 pulling on up through the top here. Not really sure what my man is thinking. He's doing 57 things by the look of it. Uh, he does get a shell out here. Let's track him, maybe. Track him in place for our 268. 268 also nuking him. 57 heavy does throw away, like, all of his hit points there. So, um, very peculiar play indeed. We do manage to bounce the grill. Let's go. And AMX 30B armor profile goes burr. Let's not poke the Yag. We do have a Hori coming onto this flank here. And uh, there's no Sheridan over here, so that's that's the good news. And also, this Yeager should be giving me some side shots right about now. So let's take a quick side shot into this Yeager. -roo. If this 57 gets any more bright ideas, hopefully it won't go too well for him. Our Hori looking like he may need some assistance over here in just a moment. So we're going to start putting this Fosh into a bit of a crossfire here. There we go. Quick shot into the Fosh. Fosh has fired his whole magazine. I think what we're going to do now is actually be a little bit more aggressive in supporting my allies here. I'm actually going to ignore that man. The Fosh doesn't have the longest of reloads, but I would like to at least start dealing with this Fosh and Yag. Because our Hori is probably going to die to them if he's if he's not careful here. All right, so the, the Fosh on the enemy team is still looking my way. Okay, our Hori is going for... I should have held my shot for an extra second. If I'd held my shot, this could have been clutch. No, the Hori might die here. It's zero to four, so my allies are big time throwing, to say the least. Yag's still waiting for me. I'm gonna wait for a 268 to maybe make a play here. All right. Let's see. Come on. Oh, gosh, guys. This game is so, so screwed for me. All right. Oh, my gosh. What happened to my team is the real question that I need to know. You know what? I don't even care at this point. I'm just gonna farm a little bit extra damage before it's too late. Terrible team! What on earth? <laughs> Why did all of the TDs follow me? Guys, your TDs. Okay, you know what? I kind of understand the whole retrend to flank, but like, they just left our heavies completely. I should have rotated back for the heavies or pushed in sooner with the Fosh. Doing 20 under damage. Um, Erwin Romel Gunner over here doing zero on the 183. Or Tune 5 e doing two shots. Or Yo doing three or four. Yeah, I mean, you know, the whole range is excited to two, two, three shots a piece. So, I mean, that could have been worse. Actually, yeah, no one on my team did more than like three, four shots, except for me. Um, that unfortunate. Yeah, that, that happens sometimes. Honestly, I should have just ran off and farmed damage that game. And uh, maybe I should have pushed in to help our Fosh sooner there or just taken a shot from the Yag. That might have been a better play. Uh, I think early game was still the right play to make because still got them early spots out, still got some early damage out. But maybe it would have been better for me to rotate in and help our heavies kill the 57 because like once they had all those TDs off the flank, those heavies are pretty much in the open for me to farm. And so maybe I should have rotated back for them. That might have at least increased our chances of winning. I just left my TDs to stay alive as long as they could on the flank. But um, yeah, like with a team like that, that's just throwing their, their lives away extremely fast. It's, it's, kind of, it's kind of a rip no matter what you do in that scenario. The only thing I could have done differently there was position myself really to farm 4K before I died. But I was trying more or less to go for supporting my allies there rather than just pure damage farm which unfortunately means i actually didn't get as much damage as i could have gotten all right let's wait for this one one to start crossing there we go quick shell into mr one two one this is bosh Altheon is curious about shooting at me but uh no sir you shall not there's a vk as well we'll damage his gun it does look like oh no we have one of these teams it's over this is why I'm, like, beginning to just despise Supremacy as, as a game mode. 
because do you see how many of my allies decided I know the smartest play to do guys is to YOLO down low just look at the HP of my allies I'm about to get nuked for probably all my HP here probably because I thought I had enough support at first which to be fair at first I did but <laughs> they decided to go down low instead of holding up top the valuable top positioning which would have given our team a chance to win top side they all just yell into a never yolo into a like oscar and, bon and 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 bonner over here just decided to yolo into a they have no map control every <laughs> seven spots oh my gosh it's the it's the diabolical team hours i think guys and meanwhile our heavy like our yo and the 405 they're just wandering off by themselves into the enemy spawn i'll just follow along with them because our grill's definitely not staying alive very long over here man that's a fact like holy smokes how bad can my team be is the real question and our yo's already already done already done briefed himself for full hp yay and now we can get yo by a leo just what i wanted and a one two one well this game was just over in a millisecond all right why do i still have hp bruh i tried loading the ap why wouldn't i load the ap there <sighs> I'm turning supremacy off. Screw this game mode. It's complete garbage. <laughs> it only I don't know. Everyone just says, oh, the teams are so predictable in supremacy. What are you talking about, man? They play like complete idiots in supremacy. They're like, gotta YOLO into A cap. Never mind that you're stuck in the only position where you cannot rotate out from. Players just run around everywhere trying to run caps instead of sticking together and doing their like their tank rolls. And like we had two dudes wandering to B. We had some dudes just kind of sitting in spawn. We had two dudes yelling to A and die. It's, yeah, that's just no go. There's nothing you can do in a game like that. Unfortunately. <laughs> I'd take playing mines every single game over having to deal with that type of gameplay, man. It's just over so fast, too. It's over so fast because they just... They, just, they don't consider, like, caps are really important supremacy, but take them when it's, like, strong to. Don't put your tank in the worst position possible to try and cap a base. Like, that's what my teammates did, and, well, we lost two tier 10s in, like, a minute and a half because they were just in absolutely diabolical positions. All right, I might take a shot from this 113 here. We do manage to bait the 113 a little bit here. All right, we'll put another shot into his hatch. So I'm just going to an early hill defense position. Thankfully, I can deal with this 113 a little bit through the hatch with the heat shells on this tank, which is just enough pen, about 290 or 300 heat um, is just enough to pen this 113's hatches. So hill defense, we're doing okay for now. Oh, wow. Late, a late comer on the hill. Nice little 500 HE into him there. So he gets nuked for about three quarters of his HP. That's always good. All right, let's see if this 113 makes any plays here. Can't really. Is this dude actually going to poke for me? Okay, why is there a VK and E100 shooting at me from back there? All right, I'm just going to angle my turret on a little bit here. See if we can at least kill this dude. There we go. Good clear on him there. Nice. Hopefully our spawn is relatively safe for the time being. 113 just kind of side scraping over there. Yeah, he's just, he's just doing his thing, I think, at this point. There's the Leo. Quick shot to him there. Nice. We can angle up our turret just a little bit. And I'm going to kind of cover our uh, our heavies maybe from back here. Okay, that's where the 183's position is. At least we know where the 183's at. Kron needs to pull back and hold the corner there. They are playing a little bit too aggressively on the outside of the hill in my opinion. Or at least our, our, uh, our dudes are. Hmm. You know what I think I'm going to do actually? I'm actually going to try and help our heavies out a little bit here. Our hill should be fine for now. But I think what really matters is kind of keeping these dudes off of our spawn. And as of right now, they are just kind of freeloading into our spawn. So let's start farming them out. I am concerned, though, a little bit about the Jaegeru's position. He could be a problem. Of course, the VK hits that, man. All right, we pick up a nice clear over there, though. Let's put another shell into this man's over here. My primarily concern right now is actually more or less the 183 behind me. I don't want him to just pull forward Make and shoot me up the rear. Yep, the there we go. All right. Uh, thank you for the donation. I haven't had time to check it yet, but thank you to whoever donated to me there. This is going to hurt a whole lot, I think. Maybe. Actually, I don't know if, he, if he's even spotting me at the moment. Okay, so I'm glad I wrote it out when I did, or is that 183B making me French toast? Please don't blind fire. Nice. You blind fire too late. Oh my gosh, welcome to the jungle with the hundred dollars. I'm sorry, I didn't see that earlier. Thank you so much for the donation. It is very much appreciated. Uh, please make it ranking all the tier 10s. 
Oh boy, um, ranking all the tier 10s, that's a... Uh, that's an... I'll, I'll have to plan that one out, because I don't even know how I would rank all the tier 10s. Welcome to the jungle, thank you very much for the donation. Um, I only do gameplay streams, though. So, like, I could rank and then maybe play the top 10 or something. That, that at least there's some gameplay, right? That, that might be a valid, to, might be a valid strategy. All right, nice little bait onto the Leo here. Thank you very much for the donation there, by the way. Uh, welcome to the jungle. As VK and E75 are the last people alive on the enemy team, but it is still a fairly close game. So let's just put a quick shot onto this man's here. Pull back from the VK, there we go. If the VK decides to push on anyone, it's gonna be game over for him. So I will happily take that. Quick clear onto him there as well. Good stuff. 30B doing his job very, very well there. So that's where I got penned through the turret. You know those little corners on the 30B's turret are hitboxes? It's ridiculous. Just little, little knobs are a hitbox. Like, like, what the heck is even behind them? Obviously, yeah, 1500 basic speed, that's gonna be an ace. Um, you know, good job to their VK, Tracy, Tracy Higgins Sniper 4 over here from 11. Give me a down vote because he's, uh, he's salty. He couldn't clutch up. I'll give him an angry duck, an angry Halloween duck. Poor dude was molded, I guess. Um, although, to be fair, he was free farming our heavies in spawn. You should never make that push usually, but since I guess we didn't have, like, any useful TDs, he actually kind of got away with it. Um... Unfortunately, his allies were not able to pull up, though. Uh, very close game there. I will take that. I, I assume that was an ace in the 30B. Yes, it was. Basically, every win, I've aced this vehicle. That's fine to me. Welcome to Choco. Thank you very much. <laughs> dog, are you talking about the 30B? Wait, what is Dog talking about? I don't even see Dog here. Wait, uh, you're talking about... Oh, it's so not... Hell, is so bad. LM... A... Uh... Really? 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 <laughs> really? I'm sorry. I'm gonna... I'm gonna state this... I'm gonna state this as clearly as possible. If you think the 30B is bad, then that is the biggest certified skill issue in existence. Do not insult my favorite 210 medium tank like that. I think anyone who is not bad at the game and has played the 30B knows darn well that this is a top three tier 10 medium tank right now easily e even if you don't like it, it it would probably still be top five for a lot of people that are that are good at this game um i don't know why anyone would say that 30b is a quote unquote terrible slash bad very bad so bad whatever video tank this tank has so much going for it i feel insulted i really Sounds do fine to me kissing face <laughs> oh kissing face that's what we're going for now what the heck is that? Yeah, nice turret armor on the Chieftain Mark 6. So enemy Chieftain spawn sniping. 205B being quite aggressive. Let's wait for a camo to reset. I think we can get ready to just yellow in on this dude. Yeah, enemy team is super split, isn't it? I'm just more concerned about the 405's position, but uh, the Chieftain running away is a sign of anything. It means their team is very much split here. We can go haul down above tanks like the Super Conqueror, start put pumping some shells into these dudes. All right, so Super Conqueror is a little bit overextended here. Let's pop another shell into him. And we'll have to watch out for that Chieftain on my right-hand side here. All right, can't quite pen the, the 215B here. So let's pull back. Yep, no need for me to bleed yet. I'm just helping out my heavies on this flank. I don't really need to um, lose too much HP. I'm just here to kind of keep tanks like this Chieftain down, maybe. There we go. 215B is in the open. Quick shot to him there. Nice. We're just going to keep holding. I'm trying to preserve my HP as much as I can right now. I think that's the, that's the biggest thing I can do. So... Conqueror's on a reload. Let's put a quick shell towards his lower plate. And, uh, wow, the Chieftain actually hits that. You know what? Good us to you, Chieftain. That was, uh, not a terrible shot. All right, Mouse, be, be, be the Chad we all know you to be. Let's see if we can, um, try not to get hashed by this dude, at least. So, this 2 and 5B decides to yellow in for me. Honestly, not a terrible play, but thank heavens I can perma-track him, because the 2 and 5B is running double, double kits, and only one repair. So, their whole team's dead. Th their, their whole team is literally dead. What? Okay, I mean, they still have three tanks left. I, okay, I know we elbows of their heavies, which is why I like going to the side. If you can get a slight overmatch on the heavies, it is uh, the biggest free farm. But, like, holy smokes, man. Their team got ratioed on this side. On both sides, really. Oh, pop that reactive, buddy. It's gonna make a, it's gonna make a real big difference. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, that reactive armor. <laughs> Reactive and pumps that I achieved it is so silly. That takes about his DPM and mobility as a heavy. I just find it so, so silly when people run reactive on a chieftain. 
Okay, I kind of get the obsession with it in comp because like anytime a tank gets reactive in comp, people are like, ah, oh, I must spam it. But like <laughs> by the time he popped his reactive, buddy like still died in probably the same exact amount of time. He was caught on fire anyways. Reactive does not make a difference to fire. Okay! Okay, one two one B absolutely mobbing the flank. Or just one two one. Good for him. Mm, 3200 for me. It was a bit of a slow fest because I, I really didn't want to bleed too much on the heavy side. Because I genuinely thought, like, I wasn't really paying attention too much, but I genuinely thought that the uh, the flank side was going to struggle a lot more and that we, we might get a close game on the flank. That's why I was preserving HP so much. But no, nah, no, nah, my allies were just goaded on the flank. Uh, overall, better, but med, but uh, one tank has good armor and one tank doesn't kind of goofy comparison. Yeah, I think, you know, the thing is, like, with the STB, it's so much slower. Its accuracy is terrible in comparison. Its DPM is actually a lot less, you know. Uh, it, it, the only thing that STB has going for it is, you know, gun depression armor, really, and, you know, premium AP being pretty saucy, I, I will admit. Uh, which makes the STB extraordinarily easy to play. But easy to play doesn't mean it's necessarily better in the right hands. I find myself performing a lot more reliably, dealing a lot more damage, and even in a lot of scenarios, winning more often in 30B because it just, it's a lot more versatile, in, especially in fast place, pace gameplay. The STB is great if you can get a haul down, you can hold a position. It's not so great for anything else, um, unless you're like using that max gun depression. Okay, really? Really? Why is the Chieftain taking 20 gazillion years to cross over to this side of the map? And of course, I'm getting yoloed by yo as well now. Ain't that lovely, guys? Ain't that just lovely? Now we are getting yoloed by yo and a Karo and a Progetto. And oh my gosh, they are just straight up sending it for me. How adorable is that? L look at these Pepega and what? Okay, I am so dead here. I am so dead. Oh, I'm so alive. Bro, <laughs> of course. Wait, what are him? Okay, I wasn't even... Okay, I was totally baited because their VK90 was spotted at the bridge. Of course, all of their heavies were there. I should have just pulled straight down, uh, but I was too late on the rotation out. And I knew if I pulled straight down, the Yo and Chief 2 would have just clipped me from behind. Bruh. That was, uh, that was just a bad play on my part, honestly. I'm really surprised their Sheridan didn't spot any of them rotating in. Like, that's why I was just kind of sitting there. I'm like, okay, maybe their meds are taking forever to push in. I don't think the Sheridan spotted one of them. What was this man's doing? I thought he was spotting the crossing over here. Ay, ay, ay. Well, that was just an elbowzo moment. Their whole Papega professional uh, heavy tank society all decide it's okay. I will uh, play a rat chatty on while I wait. <laughs> this is what happens when I'm live streaming. Oh, we have passed the hour mark. It's always the one hour mark. I start getting way too distracted. I wasn't even really paying attention all that much to my gameplay there, that early game. I just kind of went on auto autopilot mode. I should have known that they had an 11 tune that were just going to do the sweaty, the sweaty me medium tank YOLO. Even though they had an extremely good run up for holding bridge. I, I don't know why they would YOLO their tanks into, into down there, but it is what it is. Leo has mobility and DPM over AMX. It just gives you more opportunities. Eh. Leo also is a lot less comfortable to play though in a lot of scenarios. Air 4 shot, the bat shot, the on 3 shot, 100%. I just got to yell in the bat chat. I don't think that game's going to last very long, to be honest. I don't know why the heck my team sent an E100 over to that side of the map as well. Like, E160, t like, what? I don't even get it. I, I don't understand. This is what I get for just not spotting the med crossing like I would ordinarily do. Uh, instead of just trying to go take an early, early hold down positions. Because, my goodness, what a wacky decision by their team and my team to send all of our heavies over to the most useless heavy tank positioning okay so far as far as i'm aware we can assume they're gonna have some dudes in their spawn i just gotta yell at a rat chat while i wait though because uh i don't know i don't really want to watch that game my allies were not i don't think they're gonna win that to be honest i don't like, I get, like, one team maybe, like, sending their platoon over there. I don't get sending super heavies over to that side of the map, though. That just seems completely whack to me. So let's go, let's go do Ratchet things and start pushing in on the flank over here. And, uh, we find our first catch of the day, a wild uh, TVP over here. We do manage to get two shots in. Managing to track them here. Three shots! Oh, yes! The Bashation! AKA the most balanced tier 10 light sink in the game. Not only does it have a ridiculously accurate gun with a reload consumable, it has 350 alpha now. Like, come on. This tank is just nutty in every regard. 
Um, definitely gonna have to do a, a rat chat stream sometime because man, oh man, is this tank a pure joy to play. Anyways, I'm gonna go help our Minarato over here. Never mind, our Minarato needs no help. The 62A decided to just die. He was just like, I'm gonna die. Die sounds fun. Die. Um, this, this, this whole game is everyone just saying die at this point. <laughs> what is going on? Dude, okay, I'm putting same control mode on. These players are ridiculous right now with their crazy YOLO tactics. I'm YOLOing like crazy in the bat chat right now and getting away with it. I, I, I cannot be convinced that this is not, uh, I, I have to have him control mode off with, the, with this type of gameplay, man. All right, one track shot into this dude. One he shot into this dude. And one lower plate kill shot. Let's go. Gosh, I do love me the bat chat's gun. <laughs> the bat chat is so, so darn good, man. You really shouldn't be running the four shot on it. Unless you're just in for a meme build. Like, straight up, I get the meme build. But if you want, like, functionality. Okay, you can get that kill. If you want functionality, three shots going to be where it's at. 100%. It's more accurate. More alpha. Um, let's see. Oh, wait, he didn't die. <laughs> hey, Kron. What's up, buddy? I thought... Wait, our bat chat didn't kill him? No. He died. What? I thought he had him. I was like, I'll just uh, go AFK. Nope, I guess not. I guess not, laddies. I guess not. All right, let's see. Oh, gun elevation done trolled me a little bit here. Ah! It's the only thing about the bat chat. No gun elevation. Bruh. I was too far down on the hill. I couldn't back up anyways. Mr. Probably Yag Tiger. Dude, Yag Tiger looks like such a meme tank. Not gonna lie. Also, what is this diabolical gameplay? I don't even know what's happening anymore. Wow, that's a, that's just amazing. Okay, yeah, we lost the 3B game. Here's what we're gonna do. We're definitely putting some control mode on. I just do not feel like dealing with this right now. <laughs> I can always tell, man. This is like the most ridiculous YOLOs from all these teams. GG's, was your VK just hopping into your stream? Not sniping? Ah! Thank you, GG's uh, D1. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, okie dokie. All right. I know I have Supremacy back on. I'm just gonna hope. I'm gonna hope. Please, mobile teams, do not let me down. Please use, like, somewhat standard gameplay. I really don't want to deal with more of these crazy Pepega YOLOs and then like whack heavies YOLOing bedside like unnecessarily and stuff. All right, quick shot to this enemy 30B on the crossing here. Good stuff. Um, enemy Sheridan showing us how to drive into rocks. Very impressive, honestly. Very, very impressive. It's a bit risky to poke it again with a 268 potentially pre-aiming here. If I had auto aim turned off, maybe I could have pre-aimed that one in better, but uh, it is what it is. Enemy 260 is making a bit of a whack play for B-cap, so, you know, like I said, with Supremacy, these players are very hard to predict sometimes. Enemy VK is pushing all the way in. Let's see if we can spot anyone up through here. There's the 268, 350 in it. Dang it, man, our 50 TP got ammo racked. That's actually really unfortunate. Like, really, really unfortunate. I needed him to stay alive to hold corner there so I could support him a little bit, but, um... Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, it's getting too crowded over here. It's getting way too crowded over here. Uh, okay. You know what, E6? I'll give you space since you're a heavy. <gasps> okay. This is not looking good. Okay, team. Really, we, we can push an M103. It's, it's an M103 for crying out loud. Supported by a standard B. It's not that scary, man. It's really not that scary. Only problem is I can't really back up here. All right. Another shell into the standard B, maybe? Not quite. Okay. Here's what I think I'm going to do instead. The 260 is just YOLOing like a like a crazy madman. I'm going to push back. Should be safe from the VK. Good, good. Should be able to pick up a clear on this speed, maybe. Not quite yet. All right. Sheridan, you're next. Good. You know, the mobile teams are still YOLOing like madmen, so I really don't know how I feel about this. But uh, at least it's not my allies YOLOing, right? Oh, the E6 actually did the backup. He actually backed up. What is going on? Abel behind. Abel. Oh, 268. Okay, 268. Um, very peculiar play indeed. All right, 268 should be reloading for a millisecond longer here. Let's put a quick shot to this dude. I'm going to get safe from the 268 for now. I'm actually going to put myself in a position to start crossfiring these fools out. All right, quick shot to the 268. I mean, this gun really does work pretty well. Well... Allies are, um, they did a bit of an oopsie, to say the least, I would say, of this battle here, unfortunately, for me. Um, this 268 can yellow in on me all he wants right now. I know the 30B is going to come in as well. 
yeah, I'm just definitely just gonna take a kill from him. I'm gonna die. So, okay, TVP understandable. Sheridan, what the heck have you been doing, dude? You're full HP. You're full HP. Honestly, terrible play gameplay by the E6 in the mill too. They should have pushed in up top like ages ago. When I made my push to clear the flank is when those dudes should have pushed up top together. They were both full HP heavies. They both could have taken care of a standard B and an M103. Them staying there and doing nothing cost us that whole side of the game. Uh, but honestly, the biggest thing that cost us the game was our was our 50 TP getting like racked for full HP. If he'd stayed alive just a bit longer, we could have whittled down the mid and probably won this game. At least I still got 4k damage out. Um, also, Kamala Sheridan over here, Emerson69691, as, uh, I, I, I think he's lost. I, I think he's very, very lost. You know, still a wacky YOLO game, but at least I farm. at least I was able to farm 4k pretty much that. And in our natural habitat, we observe a wild Emerson. Confused as to what is in front of him, he will proceed to shoot an AP shell at the front of the VK and miss, I presume. Oh, he actually is going to. Oh, he still hits the front and misses. He is now driving up a rock and he is dead. What's the bet that this dude did no more than like two shots of damage? I wouldn't even be surprised if he did zero. I wouldn't be surprised if he did zero. Ay, ay, ay. I haven't pl I don't play this game for a week and then I remember why I had such a relaxing week to be honest. So 3800 Dell, not bad. Um this poor this poor dude got full racked, so it's like it is what it is. This this dude was not very smart with his positioning. This dude was also not very smart with his positioning. Sheridan actually did three shots. Okay, okay. He did more than most people. GG's the enemy's VK, although to be fair, he did get like full full HP rack on someone, so that's like almost two K that's over two K HP with one shot. <laughs> Uh, bro's like, what is happening? What is happening? Dude, he did second top on the team. <laughs> How did he do it in second to top? <laughs> you know, like I said, the mobile players aren't necessarily better, but the games tend to be less, like, instant over. And, you know, that game did actually last a few minutes, so I'll take it. I was able to farm decently. And to be fair, if I had pulled out from the middle of the uh, the map there, after killing the um, whatever tank I killed, we might I might have been able to get actually like 5k plus that game. I just put myself in a bad position because honestly, I was like, oh, we'll be fine. We can clear at the bottom side. And I was like, wait, everyone's dead. <clears throat> yeah, fast games. It's not as effective. However, it's still incredibly fun to play. I love how flexible it is. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, the, you know, the nice thing about the 30 bs actually still is effective in fast games because that's 3,500 damage per minute. So even if you're not shooting for very long, you can actually still get pretty good damage out in a short period of time. Uh, as long as you do not completely suck at shooting, that is. Which, uh, most people should be okay at shooting. Alright, so we have a wild prog over here who's gonna try and poke me. So I'm gonna put a shot onto him and pull back. Unfortunately, he does hit my hatch. The Progetto also got an accuracy buff, if I remember correctly. And, wow. I was definitely not expecting there to be an IS-7 over here. But, uh, it looks like we do have ourselves a wild IS-7 yellowing in. A very peculiar play indeed by Mr. IS-7. I'm gonna wait for him to start shooting at someone, hopefully. Alright, Mr. Leo gonna give me a free side shot here. And, of course. Of course. And I'm dead. Wow. What? <sighs> Oh, I see. We got Chloe over here in the uh, Chloe over here spawn sniping in the IS-7. I thought the IS-7 was coming with us at first because it kind of like saw the map. He was driving towards the rails. Our Sheridan and T-22 just not doing anything there. Okay, I should not have pushed in so much. I should have just taken a shot from the IS-7. Honestly, I ran away. Um, <sighs> Screw these teams, man. <laughs> these teams are terrible. It's still going to be like a long game. I, You know what? I'm just going to start like sniping straight up. I don't even know what's happening. How did it, why doesn't IS-7 just pop up there like 30 seconds into the game? My Sheridan and T-22 are not moving. The IS-7 just like YOLO's in. Our IS-7 is spawn sniping. The Leo and the Progetto are allowed to just both YOLO in on me for free because my allies are straight up just not moving at all. Like, come on, man. <laughs> I just give up. You know, I'm not even going to keep saving control mode on at this point. Um, I'm just going to have to snipe. I mean, actually, I've already passed an hour. I should have ended the stream in an hour. I have an exam tomorrow. The last thing I need to be doing is playing this diabolical server. <laughs> Weekend teams, dude. Tell me about it. This is why, like, you, you just can't get away with aggressive gameplay anymore. Because, like, you're going to have a bunch of allies that are just spawn sniping, doing nothing. And then you're going to, like... <laughs> 
your whole team is gonna be straight up uh the enemy's team is just all gonna be yoloing for you like that's like one of the most secure positions you can take for early spotting that i went to there especially since i had two allies with me and then i look over and like oh there's an i7 yelling in i'm like okay maybe my meds will actually make a bit of a play somewhere we can counter like what oh yeah not nice view rage on the bat chat by the way nice like 300 <laughs> nice like 300 plus view rage on this tank because you know that's <laughs> 300 and what 30 view rage is necessary on a light tank ay 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 so enemy team are going bedside never mind that they have like look at look at the mini map look at the mini map they have two tds already deep into the rails i just can't even comprehend i can't you know i've given up on this server i've given up on anyone having a brain <laughs> in terms of logical gameplay on this server what happened to the good old days when games used to be like four minutes and players used to take their tanks to where they're supposed to go I'm so happy. My, my intuition was telling me, you know, just, just sit back and spawn with your heavies early game because doing anything else is just going to suck. And like straight up, you can look at the, you can look at the mini map. Their whole team are just yellowing ra our rail side. It just seems so bizarre to me. So, so bizarre. All right. Uh, I'm not tall enough to shoot the Fosh here. Wait. Oh, sure. So I'm still spotted. Uh-huh. Or did he just take a random blind shot? <laughs> I can't even, man. I can't even. They have a 422 holding the back of their spawn. Everyone's leaving our 183 alone by himself. No one wanted to defend their spawn for starts, which is the biggest mistake you can make here. If you don't defend your spawn, it is game over. I repeat, very much game over. Okay, yeah, there's the grill. Our poor 183 is about to get elbowed so hardcore here. Maybe. I'm going to try and cover him to some degree. Honestly, probably not a good idea. Oh no, not with the enemy bat shack here as well. Oh, sure. <laughs> sure thing. All right, here's where I have to run away, boys. Someone's going through encounter cap, that's why. My goodness, this gameplay is just terrible. What are the teams doing? Both teams are just YOLOing every which direction. I can't even, I don't even know what's happening anymore. Good thing I'm in like the fastest tier 10 lights. <laughs> In terms of acceleration, this tank is the fastest. Dude, look at my teammates. They're not just sitting haul down. They're chasing a 422 around. And they haven't even dealt damage to the... Like, come on, man. Come on, Victor, Fiera, and Herman C. Come on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. My allies are so silly. KKSH over here in the 183 is probably the only player that had a reasonable plan like late game it was the only player that thought hey maybe we should just sit back and let them push into us and then i was with them for support but obviously that wasn't enough support here all right 350 please high roll ah well it was a high roll i did get my wish i did get a high roll it just wasn't enough of a high roll sadly all right ladies and gentlemen here is where your boy will most humbly die he's gonna be sent to the afterlife now Farewell! Farewell, humans! Uh, bro, like, today was so bad day for IVZ. I started to show in your games right now, too. Dude. You saw my team. <laughs> None of them thought, Huh, maybe we just... I don't know, hold a... P Lexi over here with zero damage. A fish NATO here with one shot. Uh, Cubano over here with one shot. Amazing. Uh, Victor over here with one shot. Herman C over here with one shot plus a kill shot. So doesn't really count. 183 also with one shot. Yeah, this is straight up a meme. This is straight up a meme. <laughs> no one broke a thousand. It's a tier 10 game, man. It's a tier 10 game. Come on! I need to force everyone to watch my basic my basic gameplay videos. Like I've always stated, if your teams go opposite directions, dig yourself into hold down positions, force them to push into you, farm them, and win the game. We could have done that so easily. We could have just held our spawn to some degree there. If they come yoloing in, we're all haul down. They're gonna have a miserable day. Um, but no, my allies just kept going in circles, chasing after the 4 2 chasing after the E100, which, by the way, they didn't even kill. 
Um, it's just crazy. There's just like absolutely nothing you can do in that scenario. I don't even know if I want to take corner. I have a bad experience on this map where your heavies don't even push up the C, which I mean, you, you absolutely 100% should take your vehicles up to C on this map. If you're gonna, if you're gonna go this side from this spawn, you do want to take control of this end pretty early on. Although it looks like maybe their team's going, don't tell me their team's sending like no one this way. That'd be crazy to me. All right, quick shot into the 100. Nice. So... No way. No way. Absolutely no way. Do not tell me their whole team is sniping up there. Please don't tell me. Because <laughs> if they are, that is the biggest meme of this entry. Nah, man. Nah, man. They're all sniping back there. Wait, how did I miss the one two one? Dude, this is such a joke. Z100 is trying to do his best to take a strong position for his team. Look what his allies are doing. Like, straight up, look at his allies. I really don't want to take a shot here if I can help it. I'll let the mouse do it. Mouse, take one for the team, please, and thank you. Let's do it. Nice. We can pick up a kill on this dude here now. All right. Quick shot to this man. So we do have to watch out for their spawn snipers, but, uh... Honestly, they're all just yellowing in. L look at their meds. Look how long it took their meds to decide to push in here. That's an absolute joke, man. I'll go for the M60, because uh, it looks like our allies are dealing with the flank here. Hello, Mr. M60. Howdy do, buddy. Okay, and we should be able to pick up a clear on him in just a moment. Nice. <laughs> it's already over. It's ogre. It's all ogre, guys. Their whole team is... In Narnia. Like, straight up, look at their 60 TP. This dude's still in our spawn. He's just in our spawn, just existing. Ain't no way. Oh my gosh. You know what? Maybe I could farm him from this corner here. Yes, 30B gun does the job. 30B gun does the job. Oh, that's a grill. That's a grill. That's a grill. Please at least let me hit one shot into this dude. Oh, excuse me. Bruh, 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 bruh. TVP, stop it. No, TVP! Made me lose all my momentum, so I can't shoot him. Okay, there we go. Oh my gosh, she gets HE too. It's all ogre. Like, this time the enemy's team was the diabolical one instead of my team. We're just taking turns. Oh, E4 bounces that. Let's go. We're just taking turns having diabolical teams. Wait, they still have a 1-2-1 alive? I didn't even realize, to be honest. Oh, wow. I'm surprised that penned, honestly. You have fun over there, E4. I'm going to go from your, your Pepega spawn sniping 1-2-1 over here. Hey, that's not nice. Get away from me. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> what is going on? What is happening to this server? Please. Someone tell me. <laughs> I can't even right now. What happened to NA? Oh my gosh. Thank heavens I have a high GPM, a high mobility tank. That allowed me to farm 4.4k there. But like... What? There is just 35,000 183 games, 10,000 E4 games, 9,000 E100 games, 9,000 Yeager games, 8,662A games, 8,000 Amex 50B games, 7,700 704 games, 5,900 IS7 games, 5,500 TVP games, 4,800 mouse games. 4,600 Gorilla games, 4,400 Bat Shack games. Like, it just goes on and on and on. When does he not have 1,000 games in a tank? Okay. This far down. How? How do you... Oh, like, when was his account made? Wait, what, doesn't it tell you when you click on someone's profile? 2016. His account was made in 2016. He's not even from the 2014 era. Okay, to be fair, it was made on the on, on, in January 2016. But still... Holy! <laughs> oh, there's no way! Oh. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny. It's the first hour of the stream. I actually... The teams were not too bad at first. I mean, they were a little diabolical, but I, I was easily like, pulling well over 4K average and probably 75% win rate for the first hour of gameplay. And then, like, after that first hour, it was just, like, it just digressed to complete insane levels of gameplay here. 
I think I definitely do have to play a lot more passive and focus a little more on my gameplay. Um, but my goodness, man, I, I am a bit salty. I haven't pulled a 6,000 damage game into 30B yet. I've had like a few 5,800 games, no 6K games yet. E3 already playing really, really aggressive up top there. So getting some nice early damage into him. Super Conqueror might, maybe. No, he's not going to pull up. He got crossfired already. Got the Patton and the Karosin in the back over here. Maybe a Hori shot. Oh, okay. Or I can hit the E4 instead. And that works with me as well. We also have some some degree of crossfire on the 60 TP here. Put a crookshot onto him. I'll just take some of this nice free farm. Why not? You know, I'm, I'm always down for a little bit of free farm. Free farm's always fantastic. Um, okay, the Karo on the enemy team did get griefed a little bit. Blind shot. Unfortunately, that one ricocheted. That's big Sag. All right. Gonna be Karo over here shooting HE at him because, you know, why not? Karo's best HE tank in the game. That tank's known for its 400 and its 500 damage HE shells or whatever it is. Quick shot on him there. Hey, nice shooting. Oh, and here comes our E50. I'm just griefing him. Mm, rip that poor dude. We do have to watch out for some TDs back here, but I think for the most part, we're gonna just shoot underneath this 1-2-1. One, one. <laughs> Thank heavens the 1-2-1 one, one is a fairly tall tank. Give me a nice side shot on him there. Oh, please don't block me. There we go. It's over. It's it's already over for the enemy team. Like straight up. Look at their super conqueror. Dude's just like I couldn't I couldn't survive in the mid, so I'm gonna send it on this side. 60 TP also doing the same kind of thing here. All right, quick Panther is based armor. Maybe we can get some free shots on the 60 TP is pushing up now. Uh, 30 B DPM goes burr. I mean, obviously Leo would be doing even more here, but you know I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take the free damage while I can. Ooh, he has a damaged ammo rack. Do you think? Mm, I didn't get my max to activate, sadly. Ooh, we're just going to be damage farmers. Okay, never mind. We're going to be it's game over farmers. 280 damage to this dude. Puts me at just about 4,000 damage this game. Please, yes. Nice, nice, nice. A little lower plate shot. Thank you. I'm just going to take my time aiming it in, because why not? We're going to get 5k out this game. It's, it's over. It's already over, man. It wasn't even close from the get-go. Enemy team, we're just getting elbozoed like crazy, man. Like crazy, brother. Wait, what? No, he killed my loader. My 5k. Please let me get my 5k damage out. No. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's a... Uh, holy. Holy smokes, man. That is... This, I have lost faith in the 5.5. Well, I actually think it's funny. I almost got 6k that game. I was like two and a half shots away from 6k there. Um... Not a bad game. You know, the only reason I'm getting so much consistent, like for the most part, except for like those two to three games where I got rat pushed on and I wasn't paying attention and I just got nuked. My fault to be to be fair, more so than the teams. Um, well, yeah, the teams helped too, but like mostly my fault for not paying too much attention for those couple games. For the most part though, we, we do pull out a lot of high damage games in this thing, even in these like 7-0 sweeps. So I love the 30B. It just feels very, Snooze Fest game. It just feels very nice for that damage farm. But uh, anyways, as promised, someone asked me to play the M4 for a game. I will give it a try. It has, what, 450 alpha now instead of 480? And it lost tungsten shells. Boo. I personally don't like the M4 changes. I know a lot of players actually think it's better and it's very good. Um, I I mean, it's kind of handling got slightly better, but it's kind of handling still pretty bad for 450 alpha. Like, you know, IS-7 is running with round effect 460, and I swear that IS-7 has, like, better accuracy than this thing, personally. Uh, but, you know, the M4 does cook, just, it still cooks. It still cooks as a hold down heavy, but, uh, to get a donut earlier in the stream asking for a game in the M4 at the end, let's deliver on that. <laughs> S2B feels so average. Um, yeah, like, the thing is, I... I do think the STB is very, very good. It, it's just not very, it's not actually all that fun to play. Maybe I'm tripping, but 300 and, you know, it's 340 alpha damage or 330 alpha damage. It's not the fastest of the meds. It's gun handling is pretty diabolical. So that makes it a little bit of annoying to play at times. Um, and it's just completely dependent on its ability to basically go haul down, which is not terrible per se, uh, but it does, create a somewhat redundant play style and it, it's not like a 30b where like your gameplay is all about your ability to just be mobile so let's put a quick shot to this dude anyways one thing i forgot about the m4 man this tank has like some crazy good uh reverse speed reverse speed and traverse speed <laughs> look at me look at me getting all ramming out over here right, let's see if this e5 makes a play at all 
Where does VK tries? Let's go VK. Let, 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 let's play that game. Okay. I thought he was going to pull back, so I was trying to pre-aim for that. But he won't be able to pen me at all, though. No matter what he tries here. Do you have to watch out for the Waffenträger? But yeah, I mean, M4, very good tank. I don't think, yeah, I need to say much else about it. It, it, it as a haul down heavy, it's hard to find actually one that's much better than this one. Um, if you're using like max gun depression and stuff, but for other things, it, it, uh, it's accuracy does leave a little bit to be desired. Although, you know what? At point blank, it's accuracy is not an issue at all. Like straight up, it's accuracy is not a problem from this distance. I, I will admit I was kind of, um, obviously just like two meters away. So yeah, it's going to hit its shots and nice and haul down here. VK pulling up. He's trying to aim for a weak spot. He does manage to heat pen me because, yeah, I um, mean, he's going to overmatch me from that angle there. Pick up a quick kill on this dude. There we go. We do have to watch for the 260, for the, uh, the T30 and the 263. All right. Let's see what, let's see what this man decides to do here. Quick shell to his weak spot. Oh, he actually hits where? He actually managed to hit that. I respect it. I respect it to some degree. Another shell to him, 480 damage there. Oh no, this is not looking good for me. I have to stay hold down here. Oh, that's this is not good, ladies and gentlemen. I got even better. Okay, what is my team doing, bro? This is just this is just a joke, right? This is just straight up a joke, right? Come on, please don't let me die yet, please. There's one thing I beg of you. Don't let the homie die. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Don't kill me, 263. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Let me reload. Okay. Okay, we're still alive. We're somehow still alive, ladies and gentlemen. We are somehow still alive. Enemy team throwing like crazy right now. Go on, get him, get him, get him. E6, E6, get him. I believe in you, buddy. Nice. What is this game? What is this game? Why did the 263 not kill me? <sighs> oh my gosh. I don't understand anything anymore. I'm telling you these teams are terrible. Oh my gosh. They saw the yo. I can't back up to, due to the Waffen Trigger's potential position and the T30. I gotta make sure, okay, if I sit here optimally, even if he pulls around the rear, he won't be able to shoot me right away. That might give me enough time to traverse around here. Um, until then, I'm gonna wait for the time being. Oh wait, someone spotted him. Okay, fired once. Oh, oh no, yeah, that's what I was worried about. I knew he would HE me there, man. I was hoping he, his turret traverse, forgot they buffed it, the T30's turret traverse speed there. Oh no, E6. Will the E6 have the reload? Please, 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 please. No, no, turn your turret ahead of time. You got the reload, buddy. Nice, don't don't keep going though. No, you're at one HP. Ah, what am I watching? And yeah, this dude's dead. Oh my gosh, he's still alive. He's still alive. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. I do not believe in you. Uh, My allies were very diabolical. I don't know what our E6, 57, M6, yo, all these dudes were doing. I had the VK just solo attention on me there too. I'm kind of surprised. Um, <laughs> M4 is all right. I shouldn't have pushed up to that position. I don't usually play there, to be honest. I just felt like maybe I could take the M4 there because I had three other tier 10 heavies with me. Uh, apparently, okay, you know, the, the E6 did okay, I guess. Um, at least he did 3k, but like, holy smokes, or, or yo, doing one clip there, 57. I, honestly, I survived way too long there, to be fair. Maybe if I could have stayed alive a little longer, but I just knew the T30 and Waffenträger were coming in. Uh, yeah, that's the M4 for you. <laughs> that's the, uh, that's the M4 for you. I like how that T30 spent the entire game tunneling me, and like, 800 damage was all he did. <laughs> but he still won and he still got the last shot in on me like boo <laughs> I guess he hit the most important shots of that game Ooh. Hey, it's the same Yag from that uh, one Normandy game. Okay, let's see what we can do here We're, We are at the disadvantage spawn aka this side absolutely sucks if you cannot <laughs> If you cannot hold a Which I think I actually am gonna do I, I do strongly promote um, holding A to some extent on this side, if you can. Hopefully my allies will provide me even a modicum of assistance here, but I don't know. Or Sheridan's not even gonna spot the crossing or Leo's just now waking up. 
Oh, that's a rock. One thing I will admit about the M4 man, just look at this legendary camo. It probably has one of the coolest looking legendary camos. Uh, they got PBR. It just looks so sick. There's so many things I like about this tank aesthetically. I'm going to assume they're going to send some tanks through here, right? Right? Oh, are they not taking the A approach? If they don't, that's huge. If they don't try and take the A side, we, we actually have a bit of an advantage here. We'll see. Oh, there we go. There's the 140. Okay. 140 is spotted. There's also a Jaeger spotted. What's aiming for his lower plate? And for gun handling, not quite it, Chief. Not quite it. M 140 is running away. Peculiar. Peculiar. So the 140 doesn't have support. Okay. Very good, very good. Uh, Badger's in the middle. Yiguru is still around the corner over here somewhere. Let's see if we can maybe... Oh, I can't even spot him. Do blind fire him, it looks like. Sheridan's also in the ruins now. There we go. Nice work on the Yag. Nice work on the Yag, boys. Sheridan behind us. Oh, nope, there is. <laughs> Just took him a while to get here. Come on, poke it, buddy. I believe in you. 450. I mean, their team's throwing. Their team is... How is their badger already dead? I'm honestly impressed. I'm impressed their badger managed to get himself killed already. That 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 takes some skill. Hmm, can't quite HGM. Let's aim for a drive wheel. 377. Okay. Yeah, actually, you know what? The F4 gun handling buff is pretty decent. I, uh... Honestly, I thought... It's gun handling didn't get buffed that much, but it's dispersions definitely workable now. I will give credit where credit's deserved. And yes, don't don't judge me. I know. I've been sitting in spawn all game. I know. Don't judge. I I just know how easy it is to lose on this map if you don't hold spawn. And most of the time your allies are terrible holding spawn. So uh yeah, please don't judge too hardcore this game. <laughs> I just want a W. Wow, it's 4-0. Okay, so they're, I guess players have just completely forgotten how to play these maps. Because, like, most of the time on this map, players would have um, pushed up to the A-side ruins. Because that's, like, the strong position, right? You can go up, you can hold this ditch. Only the Sheridan did that. Everyone else is just kind of wandering in Narnia, which is really kind of a surprise. Hello, Yag. Nice tungsten, buddy. And the 140's yellowing to his death against the 263. How weird. How weird. Weird, weird, weird. Oh, 263. Get him. You're a gamer, 263. I believe in you. Ah, I snuck the kill. I did nothing that game. I did nothing. Imagine if Emily had really good gun handling. Dude, Emily with good gun handling would actually be cracked. Honestly, though, I, I see what Fidu was saying, Gent. They actually did buff the gun handling a decent amount. Um, it feels usable. I, I'm still not a huge fan of its gun characteristics. I, I did like its its kind of derpy alpha gun before. Nice team I had there. Ter terrible enemy team. Um... But, uh, all right, we gotta do, we gotta do our, uh, we gotta do our send-off game. One battle, one battle. I got, I got, uh, classes tomorrow. An exam tomorrow, actually. I really should not be playing Blizzard right now. But, uh, uh, I just want at least one funny game in the 183. But, uh, yeah, I can see. I can see why, um, Arifudu said it's gonna actually feels decent. I, I didn't realize it, it felt a little, that much better after the update. Because they, at least they buffed the accuracy in accordance with its alpha reduction. So that's cool. I, I do, although I still much prefer the, the old school uh, gun on the M4. Just because, you know, getting those 550 tungsten shells was, was the thing. That was how that tank was fun to use. All right. Uh, anyways, it is about time we had our send-off, ladies and gentlemen. And we're going to do so in a 183. The enemy team have a lot of TDs, though, so I am a wee bit worried. Did he spot me? Wow, this tank is tall. <laughs> I was like, wait, did he spot me? Uh, only problem is we don't have anyone spotting up spawn. That's problematic. Think he's gonna poke it? I don't think he's gonna poke it. I think he got Omega cold feet there. All right. So, 896 damage into this fool. What I'm gonna start doing here is preemptively backing up. We have no one spotting our spawn. There's a TI2 and an STB on the flank. I am almost 100% sure who are sniping in the back. That's what shot at me earlier. E100's in the ditch. Um, I'm just gonna... Wow, TI5. Why is there a TI... That was what hit me a TI2? Brother. I thought for sure... STB is not even flanking. Aww. Dude, they're not even flanking. Their meds aren't even flanking. What is this nonsense? Like, you're in medium tanks. The flank is yours to be had for free. 
Dude, our 1 3 is actually going to be a Chad and flank, isn't he? Better than me, just sitting here like a Elbozimus Maximus. Okay, oh. Wait, really? Buddy shot HG at the front of a 1 3? Hello? <laughs> I mean, I don't mind. Better than a betting a full AP shell. Eh, I should have just sat and spawned. I would have had so much crossfire sitting and spawned, but I didn't think I could. I thought for sure they would send an SCB and whatever else was over there to the side of the map. So I was like, yeah, I definitely can't just sit and spawn. Um, but then I, I look at the mini-map. Their whole team is getting... El Elbozoed. <laughs> Elbozoed, to say the least. Um, yeah, guys, I think it's pretty much game over at this point, huh? Yeah, he's, got, he's, he's bound to pull forward soon, right? Oh, wait, what if... Think he's gonna do it, guys? You think he's gonna do it? Bro, this tank. What a goofball. Dude's like, oh, I could just poke a 183. And he actually got very lucky that that shot went slightly low. Dude, I can't even farm. Their whole team was just like, nah, fam. We ain't having that. I'm gonna use this thing as some cover here from, hopefully from the 183, the Hori. Ooh, 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 that's a Hori. That's a Hori. Come on, come on, Hori. Come, come on, Hori, give me a shot. I think the map's glitched out. I can't even see his tank. No, my damage farm. Wait, maybe on the 1A3? Ain't no way I gotta pick up this rat. No way. What? Whoa. Uh, teammates. I'm actually kind of shocked that, that that shell didn't pen. Oh! Get elbozoed! <laughs> but he's shooting solid heat at a 183 from like two meters away. That's impressive, honestly. Um, wow. How is this game even somewhat close? <laughs> uh, the 183. The 183 experience, man. I, I don't know. It just. Why does. It, it theoretically shouldn't be that much worse than it used to be. I just feel like I don't get as much fun games in the 183 anymore. Maybe because back then you used to be able to just pop, pull up and do 1300 hash damage, but now it's just like, eh. I want to try it one more time, man. That game was an L. That game was an L. <laughs> Not <a> W. <laughs> he didn't H heat. Dude, he shot heat into my tracks. Like what? He could have shot my turret. He could have shot anywhere. Oh my dude. Okay. Nah, I think this is bad. I don't think supercharge is gonna make a huge difference. Calibrated. I don't know. Why do you think you say it, Chief? It's for fun, absolutely. <laughs> Man, it's real. Do you think uh, ultra derp tanks have place in the game, or is it just in <laughs> empirical? Why don't I read it as empirical, impractical? Ah, uh, just they're just for fun, honestly. That's a pretty. KP fifty is best medium tank. Uh, I wouldn't say best because I do think it is oh gosh these chieftains are going to be a little sweaty I do think it is significantly held back by its its acceleration and its accuracy and its penetration but it does have good armor it does have usable gun depression and it does have great dpm with rammer so I mean there are definitely I love don't get me wrong I love the kpz but I would still play 30b over kpz most of the time uh in terms of just outright ability but the kpz definitely has its mean moments that's for sure all right. Yes, we are sniping. I, I do not care. Plus, I don't even think they went this way, to be honest. Yep, doesn't look like they did. Interesting play by the enemy's chief to mark sixes. Do you know what else is interesting, laddie? But these dudes pull around the corner. See a big, a big fat old 183 waiting for them. I wonder if I can actually pull this off. This is a super risky position, by the way. You think he's gonna poke it? Oh! <laughs> I don't even care if I take two shots in return. Totally worth. Totally worth. We got a high rule hash for once. There we go. That's all I wanted was my hash shell. That's all I wanted. Just a hash shell. And I'm satisfied in the 183. The good old fashioned hash shell will make anyone's day. 
Is he gonna pull up again? I think he's gonna pull up again, low key. I don't know if I can spot him from back here though. Oh, nice, I can. Oh, two head shells! Nice! Dude, it's a VK-72. Does it take four heavy tanks 10 trillion years to kill a VK-72? Our flank is so falling apart, man. Our flank is so falling apart. Oh, no, this is bad. Once that dude goes down, it's over. It's all over. No. I got to push in with the allies here. Dude, look at these four heavies. I can't believe it took them that long to make this counter push. That's crazy. Welcome to Where Are The Tanks Blitz, where your allies have absolutely no clue what they're doing. Minerato, why are you yellowing? You could have held there. No, Minerato, why? Oh my goodness, my team is throwing this. You know what? I got my Hesh shells, though. I'm a happy camper, okay? <laughs> I don't really care. Even if this battle is practically over at this point. Okay, where you at, laddies? I know it's only a matter of time before one of you put back and Oh gosh, dude, our heavies are so bad. They're so, so bad. Wait, they're they're actually not pushing this side. Is it because all my heavies are pushing into the open, into a crossfire, so this thing hold down in the back? Yep, it definitely is that case. That would appear to be the case. That would, that would indeed appear to be why. Let's go! We picked up a kill, laddies! We are satisfied. We actually managed to pick up a kill here. Let's go. <laughs> Hello, Mr. STB1. How how are you? Oh, no! I swear I heard my gun shoot there. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible heavy tanks again. Um, yay, I got my three hash shells out. I'm, I'm happy. That's all I wanted in the 1A3. Uh, that makes me very, very satisfied. Our 268 got himself kind of stuck down low. Um, could have done worse, I guess. 55. Oh, Minotauro did one shot, dude. I was going to cover him, too. The problem was, though, 45% or 57, 49% or 57. The KPZ is 45, but I, he actually did better than both of them. So credit to the KPZ. It was our it was our three heavy tanks of Minotauro, though, that just took forever to, like, make any plays. And honestly, they shouldn't have YOLO'd through there. We could have held that heavy side pretty well if we just dug ourselves into the corner, let them push into us. But once again, players just don't know about the, about the art of letting the enemy team push into you. It is a very, very important skill. Um... Yay. <laughs> why are you hating on the 4202? Eh? 4202 is pretty bad, that's why. It's it's actually pretty bad. Or I mean kind of nuked that tank too much in my opinion. I would rather them just revert it back to the highly mobile good gun 4202 without armor. That was the best variation of it. It was the most enjoyable uh version of the 4202. But uh yeah, I guess that's gonna be it for me today. Hmm. Um First hour of 30B gameplay was very bueno. Had a great time in it. And then we had a very uh, Papega sash, uh, <laughs> session there with some diabolical teams and some diabolical gameplay on my part. I will take credit there. But at least I got, you know, five and a half thousand for the last game of 30B and then whatever these last B derp games were. Uh, yeah, 30B. Definitely my go to tier 10 medium that if I just feel like having a good time in, that's always going to be the tank I'm going to choose in its current state. Um, even over the Leo 1, I know. Call me crazy, but the 30B just, it just feels so comfortable to play right now. It has a lot going for it. I'm sure, I'm hoping that some of you you guys will be willing to at least take the tank for a spin because I think it's ace bar being about 1250 is way too low. I need to get the ace bar up to at least 1400. Um, uh, yeah. Ah. <sighs> I got an exam tomorrow. I'm, I'm so excited about it. Can't you tell? I'm just, yay. <laughs> so that's why I got it in the stream now. Um, sorry, I couldn't stream more times this week. I've just been very busy last semester things. I will uh, try and get around to hopefully doing a couple more streams next week. I'll have to make a tier list of the tier tens, I guess, because I got donation earlier requesting that. Uh, and then maybe I'll play the top 10, you know, at least as I rate them. I'll have Fidu help me, Fidu's more more into this stuff than me uh so yeah y'all have a great start of your week and uh all that all that good stuff i will 
I'll see you next time. Thank you everyone for dropping by and supporting the stream, supporting the channel, supporting me. It is appreciated as always. And until next time, peace.